The speech and debate team had success over the weekend. We'll have details ahead. Also in the broadcast, we'll have highlights from the Indians football victory over Columbia battle. All of more came with KFY Daily News. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time. Choose from a variety of fresh, great tasting foods and custards to be prepared by their friendly staff. Let Culver's welcome you to deliciousness. As Craig Culver has said, every guest who chooses Culver's leaves happy. There's always fun in store at Big Frog Custom T-Shirts and more in Independence. Visit the store, choose, create, and celebrate your customized design on a wide selection of apparel and gifts. Your order can be printed and ready within 24 hours. Let Big Frog outfit you today. Good morning, Fort Stage High School. I'm Sydney Martin. Today is National Espresso Day. Celebrate by enjoying a cup of espresso. And I'm Rebecca Baumler. Today is Thursday, November 23rd, 2015, and here are today's news and announcements. The speech and debate team had two teams out this weekend. The varsity competed at Park Hill South Invitational, where Riley Messer took third in international extemporaneous speaking and second place in Lincoln Douglas debate. Kylie Tobin and Josie Butte broke in the Duke North Kansas City tournament. The Indians football state will have the highlights from the game and sports, but you can get your state t-shirts to help support the team when they play in St. Louis. Shirts are $10 and can be purchased from the main office today and tomorrow during normal school hours. Fans can also purchase them in the high school cafeteria from 6 to 8 p.m. tonight, tomorrow night, and Wednesday night. The travel park will be closed right after Thanksgiving break on Monday, November 13th, and will reopen December 1st. But they will be open tomorrow, so stop by and get a cup of hot coffee or some of their new frappe in mocha, vanilla, or caramel flavors. The future business leaders of America will be selling suckers tomorrow during lunch shifts for $1. Proceeds will go help go towards the March of Dimes. FBLA members need to pick up their suckers before they leave school on Tuesday to sell over Thanksgiving holiday. Next week is our last week for the clothing drive to help benefit March of Dimes. If your families have clothes at home that are no longer that they are no longer wearing, please bring them in trash bags in Ms. Fletcher's room, room 47. When we come back, we'll have today's weather report. Toscanos is the best place to get an upscale Italian dining experience with a hometown feel. Start out with enjoying delicious warm bread while the cooks prepare your entree to be served to you fresh. Toscanos offers a vast menu of pizzas, pastas, salads, and more. They offer carryout and can cater to any event. Let John and Kirk give you a taste of Little Italy at Toscanos, located at 312 South Hudson Street in Buckner. Hello, Florida Sage. My name is Jason. I'm here with your weather. I, current conditions is 35 and clear. Today it's going to be 58. Tonight it's going to be 38, and tomorrow it's going to be 57. All right, the uh, radar is clear, so we're going to be on with your five-day forecast. Wednesday is going to be 58. Thursday is going to be 60. Friday, 37. Saturday, 41. Sunday, 39. All right, coming up next, we'll have today's sports report. Enjoy a dance club experience at Lunar Bowl with disco lighting, current and classic music videos playing on our 10-foot big screens, and your BFFs. Explore one of our weekend cosmic bowling sessions and get your bowling groove on. Hey everybody, it's Brandon Reeve with your KFLA Sports. While the varsity football team is going to state, the Indians dominated the Columbia Battle Spartans Friday night 49-12. Bailey Williamson started the game off with a 99-yard touchdown return that fired up the team in the crowd on a cold night. Battle struck its own big play but failed on the point after touchdown attempt. The Indians establishing the running game and Skylar Thompson scored from five yards on a QB sneak to lead the Spartans 14-6 after the first quarter. The defense made life miserable for the Spartans when Jonah Timosevi intercepted a pass in and ran it 37 yards to the house. Thompson scored from 10 and 4 yards out to the end the half at 
half with a 35-6 to six lead. The third period was all defense and the Indians led by Seema Thomas and Jesse Reeser stuffed the Spartans offense. The defense held the Spartans to only 50 yards rushing all game. Things got scary as battle defense player Jerome Nelson had a neck and head injury and had to be carted off the field. Spartan head coach Justin Conyers reported that Jerome has been released from the hospital after an overnight stay. The game resumed and the Indians started scoring again, this time on a 15-yard pass from Thompson to Tumasevi. Isaiah Ilailo, who led all rushers with 108 yards, capped off the scoring on a 36-yard run. I'll be right back with the, this week's sports calendar. In a world where comfortable roomy seats and delicious snacks await your arrival, the Blue Springs 8 Theater at 1901 Northwest 7 Highway in Blue Springs offers a friendly atmosphere to view the top box office movies. Catch these recent releases this week at the Blue Springs 8. Welcome back. Coming up on the Indian sports calendar, the girls varsity, JV, and freshman basketball teams open their season against William Christman tonight. The freshmen play at 5 p.m., the JV at 5.30, and the varsity tip-off at 7. The freshman boys basketball team starts the season off with a 5 p.m. game at William Christman. The varsity football team takes on Chem Chemada Red Devils in the Edwards Jones Dome in St. Louis on Saturday, November 28th at 5.30 p.m. Tickets are on sale for $11. Ages 5 and under are free. You can purchase your tickets from the high school front office today and tomorrow from 7, 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Tickets are also available on Ticketmaster.com or by contacting the Edward Jones Dome box office at 314-342-5201. Come out and support your Indians. Thanks, Brianna. On this day in history in 1963, President John F. Kennedy was assassinated while riding in a motorcade in Dallas. Our the day is lackadaisical, which means showing lack of interest. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day, Indians.